Hey guys, how's it going? The name's Luke Chris, and welcome back to Sort the Court. Why continue my reign as king? It seems your court is without much much cake. I can provide the cake. I am a cake chef. May I join you? I have no clue what what accent I just did, so I apologize to everyone in advance. Oh, thank you. I'm grateful. I am cakeful. I will make you cakes. I see you later. Okay, I got me a chef now, a cook chef, a cake chef. Chester, I already said no like five times already. What? Why don't we take a hint? Wait, what? You ever see a chest do a backflip? No. Well, you're not gonna. I don't need to be a jerk about it. Chester, just because I don't let you eat people doesn't mean you get to, you get to be a jerk to me. Monsieur Esprit. A good day, sir. Do you require any haunting services? For a small price, I'll scare some people for you. Now, as much as I would love to scare my people, that may not make them too happy. Then again, it's always good to keep people on their toes. And like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I am a benevolent dictator. Hmm. Ah, oh, well, since it's the month of spookiness, why not? Mm -hmm. Just some scare. Oh. What? Why? What? What? No, you just said scare people. You didn't say scare them away. Mr. Esprit! You've lied to me! There's a very stinky kid running around the streets. Should we force her to have a bath? Yes! <laughs> there, will be, there will be no dirty kids in my kingdom. Yeah, uh-huh, I know. I made a goof choice. Oh! I gained 21 people in exchange. Okay, I can't, I can't say I disagree with that. Oh, I love that dress. I love the color scheme. I'm betting she's, she's like, she's a, a, a confectionery. Bonjour, my name is Madame Abel, and I've come to your, join your court. Uh, will you have me? Yes, mm -hmm. I will. How sweet. I'm sure many wonderful adventures await us. I'm certain of that too. Hello, worker. Mason, Mason, okay. I, uh, uh, could I trouble you for a sandwich? Surely the cost of one sandwich is nothing to a great king like you. Well, you know, I wouldn't really give someone money for sandwiches on normal circumstances, but because he mentioned how great I am, I will be. I will be a great man. I will be a great king. Yes, you may buy yourself a sandwich. I allow this. Oh, hey, Winston. Hi. What's up? Hey, uh, somebody came by and cleaned my, my home. You gonna pay me back for that? Well, it depends on what you mean by cleaned up. Was it a it was was it a pigsty? Did it need to be cleaned up? Or are you saying that you just got robbed? Well, I think in this game he would say if he was robbed. It was, it's pretty straightforward on the actions that people take. Except for Monsieur Esprit. So, I'm not paying you back for someone cleaning up your home. <laughs> what? How does that not make people happy? <laughs> I think it's just here to pay a visit. Should we leave it be? Yeah, I don't see why not. It's just a chicken. It's not hurting anyone. <gasps> It left behind a golden egg! Sir, the city's population is growing steadily. Our records of citizenship indicate that 250 people now call the city home. Yes, and I just got a whole bunch of moolah for that. I'm happy. With the biggest city, we'll need to maintain even higher happiness in order to keep people satisfied. Of course we will. I will keep my people happy. As long as they keep bringing me in money, I shall be a very benevolent dictator, as I have said multiple times. Make sure you pay attention to the citizens and their issues to raise our happiness. Anyway, we still have lots of work to do. Let's make the city even bigger. Yes, and then I finally shall join the Court of Crowns. Or the Council of Crowns. Oh, speaking of which, by the way, remember the earlier when I mentioned the Council of Crowns? Yes, I was just, I was just expounding how I often wish to join them because they didn't see fit to cr crown me part of their council. I have a crown! I've heard rumor that one of their members has just been searching the land for a new ruler to join them. Perhaps they are aware of our progress. I would imagine so. Look how our town is thriving. Georgie. Hey, uh, good friend. I thought you might be interested in making a deal. A good, wholesome, friendly deal. Who honestly here buys that? I will not be tempted by you, Georgie. I will not. How much more I bet that he would just kill a lot of people and say, Oh, yeah, I'm making them happy. I'm making them happy in a way. Monsieur Mouton, we got a lot of messieurs and madames, don't we? Citizens from far and wide come to visit my barber shop. 
Would you like a fresh cut, sir, free of charge? Why, thank you. I, I kind of noticed that my beard is getting a little too bushy for my taste. Mm -hmm. Of course you do. You look dashing. Well, of course I do. I'm the king. I must look extremely good for my subjects. Sneaky girl. Want me to steal from the rich and give to you? Not just the rich. I'll steal from whoever, basically. Well, on the one hand, it's gold. But on the other hand, I'm stealing from my people. Well, they already pay their taxes. Sorry, Thief Girl, I'm not gonna need your services at the moment. Yet, yet. Mom says I need to ask your permission to go on an adventure. So can I? Please? Please? Now, kid, you are a kid. In this case, Mother knows best. There have been a lot of bad hearings around here. We, we just sent some people back to Border Kingdoms who are attacking us. I don't think now is the right time to go on an adventure. Oh man, you're so boring. I'm... What? I'm keeping you alive here, you, you little... Mm. My lord, a man wishes to settle a dispute. He says he is way cool, but his friends say he is not. Do you think he is cool? Yes! <laughs> Everyone is cool within their own minds. It doesn't matter what people say, you are cool, you are you. You are the coolest you can be. I wish this constructed tavern, but I'll need some gold for me to make it happen. Hmm, a tavern means booze. A booze means income. I can't see anything wrong with that. Yes, a couple hundred. This better be worth it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that was a couple hundred. Literally, a couple hundred. Oh, I love the hair. I love the greenery dress, too. I love it. Green is my favorite color. Then is blue, then red, and then I haven't figured, quite figured that out yet. Gardener. I love the name. Plants are interesting, don't you think? I would like to have, open a garden. May I have some workers help me? Yes! We could use some more greenery around here. Some flowers. They would really gr make the place look awesome. Hello, Mr. Sultan. A caravan of mine wishes to camp in your city for the next few days. Might that be arranged? Well, seeing as how we're trading partners, I guess I'm okay with that. I'll let it by. Quite agreeable. We shall work together again, I hope. I hope so too, Mr. Sultan. It's usually beneficial. You. Does it want something? Last time I said no. I think I'll say no again. <laughs> What I feel? Happy! Yes, I was right! Get out of here, you little eyeball. I don't know what the heck you're supposed to do, but I don't think you're good for me. Lewis was giving out free cake in the, citizens, in the market today. Much to the citizens' delight. Good on you, Louis. Good on you. The Sultan's caravan is resting in town. Our citizens have been trading with them, producing small amount of tax income. Like I thought, mutually beneficial between the Sultan and me. Hello, Mr. Barber. Mr. Mouton, Mountain, Mouton. Citizens from far and wide come to visit my barber shop. Would you like a fresh cut? Yes, I would. Mm -hmm. That increases the happiness. It doesn't get me anything, but increases the happy of the people to see their king being so fashionable. I got a business proposition for you and your tiny. Li it is not tiny. We've gone over this, Sultan. It is not tiny. Look at it. But yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, sure, why not? Yes, my butler. There's a party I like to go to this evening, my liege. Might I have the rest of the day off? No! You need to get me your- oh, Okay, alright, you serve me enough tea, do everything for me, yes, you can go to your party. Thank you! We will toast to your honor! Yeah, you better. My show seems to have gone over well. I wish to expand my production! How much is this gonna cost? Funds I shall need 400 gold or so. That better have been worth it. Ah, day 10 done and gone and over with. With my population gone up none since uh, the last time it went up, my happiness is going up quite swimmingly, so the people are happy with their dictator. But I've lost a good amount of wealth. I went from 545 to 73 in a few turns. How does that happen? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed this game, so I hope you guys got some enjoyment out of it. And if you did enjoy it, even a smidgen, please give a like, maybe a share, a comment is always nice. Let me know what you guys liked or what you guys didn't like or what you, or whatever have you, just for random talking. And to be fantabulously awesome, please, 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 uh, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to let you know of any updates that I give. I got a lot of ideas coming, guys. This is Luke Christ, 
And I'll catch you guys in the next game. See ya.